Mika, it's your birthday! Go, shawty. It's your birthday. We gonna walk you like it's your birthday. Did you get her a cake? No. Why? I don't, I forgot. We didn't get you a cake, I'm so sorry, Mika. Too Faced got you one last week though, that counts, right? So I received a very urgent email from the front desk of my building. It said, urgent, Melissa, you have a cake at the front desk. Please come and pick it up so it doesn't spoil. Well, it's not a human cake. It's a cake for Mikachu. What did you say about that, hmm? I think she manifested it because her little bandana has Too Faced embroidered on it. Did you, did you plan that? Oh boy. I'm gonna take it away now, okay? We're gonna save the rest for your birthday next yeah. week. Sorry, love you. Will you settle for some treats? Is that good enough? You failed her as a father. <laughs> we gotta get her a cake. Okay, let's go. Is it your birthday? I would have never guessed. We have not failed, Mika. <laughs> Hi, good, how are you? Um, can I just get one of the little doggy cupcakes? A doggy cupcake? Yeah. Anything else for you today? That's it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. What is it? And for the grand finale, <clears throat> we are gonna prepare the cupcake. It's not looking good for the Sprinkles Cupcake, guys. Four. One more, one more. Oh, I am so sorry, Mika. We're a walking fire hazard here. Happy birthday! We're gonna blow these out for you because we don't want you to burn your whiskers, okay? Oh! <laughs> Happy birthday! She, she's wondering where her cake is. Let's get the wax off the cake. This is your last treat for this week, Missy. You've had too many. Just wait, man. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> wait, you little maniac. Wait, wait, wait. Here, wait. Shh, wait. She doesn't even notice them. Um... Wait, hey, hey, come here. Mika, come <laughs> it's here. Falling apart. Come here. Ready? Ready? No, oh, one bite. That's all it takes. Oh, Mika, the little bone. Oh, there it goes. And that concludes Mika's birthday. There's icing on her head. I just want to say happy birthday. She wants this, but there's nothing on it. happy birthday. <laughs> that concludes this vlog. What happened? Too much cake? A little cupcake coma? What's going on here? No. Oh, okay. Did you have a good birthday?
hey guys i just wanted to pop in here i just got done editing this super random vlog of mika's birthday here come have a treat so you can be in the video you want a treat i'm i'm holding it for you <laughs> um i just wanted to pop in here and wrap up this video i know it seems super random but she just ate all the treats in one bite they were supposed to keep her here for this outro come here sit sit will you be a good girl and sit anyway uh, I know this video was kind of random, but I love this dog so much. She's literally my fur baby, mine and Kyle's fur baby. We spoil her, we love her to death. <laughs> Got a bad itch there? <laughs> I have my Invisalign in by the way, so I'm a little lispy. But anyway, as a husky parent, I feel as if it is my responsibility to inform those of you out there who might be considering a husky or really admire the breed and um, really want one as your personal fur baby. I feel as if it is my responsibility to really educate you guys on the breed because they are crazy. They are high energy dogs. They are a working breed, which means that they were essentially bred to do a task. Huskies were originally meant to pull sleds. Uh, so in this case, I am now the sled. The human is the sled. So their instinct is to pull. They're high energy. They're escape artists. They're one of the most difficult dogs to train because they are very stubborn along with Shiba Inus. Is it Shiba or Shibu? Shiba Inus. They're just really, really intelligent dogs, but really, really stubborn, really difficult. So you have to use different training techniques when it comes to Huskies. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because a lot of Huskies do end up in shelters because people get them for their beauty, not necessarily uh, knowing what they're getting themselves into. And then once they get the dog, they realize that they're too much and too hard to handle. So what I'm trying to get at is that regardless of whatever dog it is that you want to bring into your home do a ton of research um, before getting that dog because um, you want to make sure that whatever dog it is that you're getting fits your lifestyle so Mika fits my lifestyle I'm a very active person I love spending time outdoors going on walks runs jogs so uh, she very much fits my lifestyle if you're the kind of person that doesn't like to go um, outside go on walks go on jogs a husky is gonna be bored to death in your home and I live in an apartment so so I have to work extra hard with her to really tire her out. And again, this isn't just for Huskies, this is for every dog. They should always fit your lifestyle. You should never get a dog because of their beauty or because you simply want them for selfish reasons. When you get a dog, they are a family member. They require a lot of attention and much more than you would think like literally our lives kind of revolve around Mika like when we leave town we have to plan ahead and make sure she's taken care of I just feel um, very passionately about this because uh, sometimes I get DMs from people asking questions about Mika that also own huskies and they're asking questions that they should have already known the answer to before getting the dog and it really frustrates me because it clearly shows that that person didn't really research the breed before they got a husky. Mika is beautiful but she is a handful and I know you constantly see her <laughs> okay I know you guys for the most part see her lying around sleepy around the house but that's because I tire her out throughout the day with all her walks and jogs and runs to get her to be like this if not she homegirl will run circles around you inside your house, or in my case, my apartment. Um, so there are a lot of work, any dog is, so I just wanna put it out there. If you're considering getting a dog, please do your research on the dog itself, learn a little bit about its personality, um, the breed, if you do know the breed, the history of the dog, just do some research before bringing it into your home and I promise you'll be a lot happier um, versus just getting a dog because you think it's beautiful. I hope that this video, even though I'm ending it on a serious note, I hope that this video made you smile. I hope it brought a little bit of happiness into your life and I also hope it somewhat educated you on the Siberian Husky or as I like to call Mika, the California Husky. <laughs> um, and yeah, that concludes this vlog. Until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.